I'm joined by Kevin Boothby on the preview or the, the, the night before the first of his Toaster uh, Star Sports and uh, Toaster Events and Leisure Greyhound Derby finals. Kevin, it, it seems uh, you've come a long way from um, 28 dogs on a, on a Saturday night at Henlow. Yeah, we have. Well, you know, I think it always shows our commitment, you know, the business and all the stuff we have working for us behind what we did. And obviously, we was fortunate that SIS come along. And, you know, thanks to Gordon Bissett for giving that chance and that contract to, you know, make things like the Derby final happen here at Tosa tomorrow. So it's, it's so pleasing. But look, you know, we live and learn all the time when we get stronger and stronger in what we do. And we want to stage a better derby next year and a better derby the year after and so on. Do you know what I mean? That's the way we are. We can always improve for it and always get better. So, but it's so exciting. The buzz around this place, the place is looking amazing. You know, the people coming here tomorrow will see Toaster in fantastic condition. So in yeah. terms of um, adaptation, since anybody, even, let's should we say a month ago, you've got new bars in place, you've got some tents in place, you've got, there's been an awful lot of stuff going on, hasn't there? Yeah, I mean, the, the accommodation side has been frustrating. I bought a lot of this back in February. So we should have had accommodation for nearly a thousand people on site. All my pods and that I bought have still haven't been delivered. The big safari tents, they've come, but they're, they're a big job putting up. Uh, and because it was last minute, we put so many bell tents up, we've got so many people booked in, but we never were advertising to be sold. Even though it was on, on the website, you couldn't book them because I didn't want to like people to book in and we'd you'd disappoint them. So. It's all been one China and a series canal. That was a big hold up. And obviously Brexit and Europe, where all the pods are coming from. But look, it is what it is, Floyd. And we've dealt with that. Outside bars, straight away I sussed it from day one. But you know, we only got given the go-ahead from May the 18th. We could open as a business. So we had to bring in loads of stuff straight away because you couldn't do, people can't go to the bar themselves and get a beer. So we had loads of runners outside, but you just couldn't cope with the demand. So. I was always mindful of buying outside bars and I was looking. So we've now like bought two nice outside bars and we've got another outside bar now for the marquee, which is on the horse course for, for the final tomorrow night. So look, we'll improve all the time, Floyd. And we, if we get things wrong, we'll correct it. And we'll look at things and we just want to get better and better at everything we do. But it's so pleasing. I mean, I'm, I'm looking out on the track now. I mean, when people see the track, the fence completely done though. It's, it's, it looks absolutely superb. The track is absolutely top notch. I'd welcome anybody to walk around that track and say me that ain't the best running service in the country, what we've got. Because it is absolutely superb, mate. Yeah, yeah. I I think the, you know, again, for some reason, Toaster attracts more more criticism than anywhere else, perhaps because it is it is viewed as the premier track and, and people... But, expect... but in a way, Floyd, I think that's a good thing. I mean, people always want to knock us, criticise. And look, if that, for me, we're the premier venue. People want to pull us down. That's fine. You know, we answer that with what goes on. Tomorrow night is going to be a fantastic derby final. I think it's been a fantastic competitive derby. So clean. I mean, that's one thing people will never mention, but they don't mention good things. The first two events have been so safe. I mean, dogs are going around lovely, you know, and it's, you know, but then people say, yeah, but a dog what's led to one. Well, hang on a minute. A lot of tracks in this country, if you lead, you win. But, you know, we have seen dogs get picked up here. And it is a fair test. I mean, you speak to the trainers, you know, you couldn't put a dog at toast if you don't stay five under. Simple as. So it's not a case of if you lead, you win. You, you've got to still stay that five under. And we've been fortunate that the entry has been fantastic. All the owners and trainers have supported us. And the undercard tomorrow is second to none. Yeah. I mean, the excitement this derby is, is creating for the sport, I feel it. And I actually see it because I speak to the people who is involved massively. And, and they're loving it. You know, and I've, I've had good feedback from SIS regarding bookmakers and turnover on their bets they've had for the derby. Well, you know, that is so positive news because at the end of the day, the sport needs funding and we all need funding. But it's so positive that people are actually betting on our sport. They're taking, you know, they're buying into what we're doing at Toaster. They love the spectacle. They love watching it on TV or on the computer or on the phone. It is getting fantastic what we're doing here, mate. I mean, look, I'm very biased and I'll always say this, but I actually believe what we're doing is second to none, and, and this is absolutely top notch stuff here. Well, I, I have to say, I, I've seen I've seen derbies at, at White City, Nottingham, Wimbledon. Um, in my view, this is the best derby course I've seen Greyhound run on. Um, everybody talks about White City. It was it was flat. There were no bank bends. 
There were a lot of injuries at the first bend. And if you led in the third bend, you won the derby. It was that simple. Wimbledon, certainly they improved it on the old side. Um, but to begin with, for years, we had problems on dogs couldn't run out of track one. People, again, they, they forget about all of that. They, they did improve it. And then, of course, they switched sides, which, again, it wasn't mm -hmm. a bad course. I'm not criticising, but I, I certainly don't think it was better than Toaster. And Nottingham, again, Nottingham's a good track, but as a venue, I think Toast is better suited to the Derby. So I don't know. I, I guess. I mean, I for me, what, I mean, for me. With... No, I look, I'm not. I'm not really interested in the politics of the sport. No. I look, I'm always very opinionated in what what I believe in because you know I put my money where my mouth is, so I can be opinionated. But for me, yes, we've got the venue, but we've actually got the track for it. Yes, the track is so safe out there. It's fantastic for these grounds. And, you, and you're on about the fastest grounds in our sport could keep you've got to remember floyd we are a sport and a sport needs champions and that's what this track these fast dogs absolutely love running on that track and it's been i always said from day one 29 seconds won't be broken out here and i've been staggered that dogs have been doing 29 oh three oh five oh eight 29 10 so you know it just shows you the class of these dogs yeah, and you're looking at the calibre again of the Irish dogs that have come through, that have run Shelbourne, that are running Toaster just as well. Um, what well, has surprised me, and um, you talk about the bookmakers, I bet they're very, very happy because I, I did a little bit of uh, working out. And according to what I can see, I think of the 62 races so far, there's only been 17 winning favourites. Plus, I don't know, about half a dozen joint favourites. and and, and uh, Yeah, I think... Look. Because it's a fair test here, Floyd. Do you know what I mean? There's no hiding place. If you don't stay, you're not going to win. And, you know, it's, it's for me, it's fair. We, we see that in that grady racing. We don't have that many favourites winning grady racing. It's a fair fair track here. And you've got to stay 500. Yeah. But bear in mind, this has been one of the most competitive derbies for many a year with the quality of the entry. I think that's that's the key. And people think, you know, there have been many favourites winning because there's a lot of good dogs in each round, in each race, especially from the, you know, Quarter-final stage. The quarter-finals was top-notch. And the semi-final lineup last week was top-notch again. Do you know what I mean? So it's, you know... And it's it's good that it gets everybody talking. Is that a bad box? Is that a good box? You can't win out there. You can't do this. And that's... Look, it's all part of the fun. And I love it, I do. And I was delighted last week to see the in session pop out last week and win out of trap one. You know? And if you look at some of these fast dogs we've had in the derby, they've been from trap one. Yeah. It's like well, people always want to go for something but they're always looking for something there's no hidden agenda here. it's a fair track that's simple yeah. that. it's interesting track. that track track one at, at uh at toaster 16.9 percent wins the track one that for the last full derby at nottingham which is the obviously the uh last year it was it was a smaller event one round less but it was 12.9 percent so you know there was a there's a four percent difference and yet, mm. you know, we're talking about biases and, and uh, looking at Shelbourne Park for their 2019 derby. Mark Pierpont did some figures. And track five was 8.93%. And I don't, uh, sorry, track four, 8.93%. And I don't remember mm. anybody ever screaming, don't go to Shelbourne. Floyd, Floyd, there, Floyd, you know? come on. We, we, we all know people won't do that, though. They want to knock Toaster because yeah. we're the venue. Yeah. But it's fine. Keep, look, the more people want to knock Toaster, the more I know we're going to invite you. And you can keep knocking us. And look, if we get things wrong, we'll change it. I'll, I'll hold my hands up. Sometimes we've made mistakes here. Yeah. And we've corrected it. Do you know, and it is what it, no one's perfect in this world. But what we are doing here is something special for the sport. And it's so pleasing to see everybody buying into what we're doing. And everybody's already talking about next year's derby. Very you know, obviously, we've only got one year deal. But I'm very keen that we get a five year deal quickly for everything. Because I think it's important that owners and trainers need to know where the derby is now and not. In December, you know, New Year's Eve, whenever it is normally. So, as far as you're concerned, you you will you would commit to a five year deal now? Oh, massively, yeah. I think yeah. it's important. I think for the sport going forward, it needs to be here, and it needs to be for five years. I mean, yeah. you know, I, I buy dogs myself, so I relate to owners. They need to be buying dogs now, getting them into trainers' kennels by September, October, getting ready for next year's derby. You know, so but that's look, that's down to the GBGB. I spoke to Matt Bird. And I'm, and I'm sure Matt will, 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 will see what he can do. Do you know what I mean? So that's it is what it is with it. Yes. I don't think it's right for this. For me, it doesn't sit right with me tendering again. And I, wouldn't, I wouldn't tender again anyway. Actually. No. No. Because I think what we're doing here for, we're nailing it. We really are. Yeah. And, and, and yeah, we, look, we'll always have criticism. 
lately the criticism has gone quiet, but you know, we've had issues last week with the uh, pneumatic boxes. Uh, and the more we investigate, the more we looked into it, it was a problem in the pipe work. We were changing pipe work though. So again, we live and learn. We, we've never used pneumatic systems before. Yeah. So, and, there's, and the pneumatics from the compressors going across the track on the ground, part of it had holes in. So when it rained, it got in there and it slows the pressure down. But the big problem was because it was a busy trial session, we had 70 trials. We're doing trials every four minutes. So they have to like read gas. Yeah. Good water got in there. It wasn't really gassing quick enough for the power to put the boxes slipped open. But we look, we've corrected that now and we move on from that. So I was gonna you know, say you, I you, think I've changed everything here, Floyd, though. We've changed the floodlights, we've changed the track, we've changed everything possibly we can. And you know, we want it perfect for these dogs. Yeah. It's so important we have a safe and fair ground track. And I think that's what, what we got here. And I'm just looking forward to all these people coming here tomorrow night. And a lot of people won't have been here for a few years and i think they'll be gobsmacked what they see here yeah of course the other thing that, that you'd had and as you pointed out previously even things like staff because i was took a little while to get used to things because you you'd come in at the end of covid having to employ a whole new bunch of staff who didn't know their way around the place particularly in terms of the restaurant that kind of thing oh the staff looks when we got given a go to open may the 18th staffing was just a nightmare we we had to employ a load of people. We did get an agency in and, and employ that many people who wasn't trained for anything. And the biggest problem you got this day and age is chefs. You can't get chefs. Yeah. Uh, and we've gone through a few chefs. And luckily, you know, the, the new guy we got in loan, Leo, he's done an excellent job and he's a top quality chef. And I think everybody was impressed with the Derby lunch the other day. But it, it takes time to build what we're building, Floyd. Do you know what I mean? But we have got a lot of good people working here now. You know, track staff are excellent. You know, the marketing team's good, booking office team's good. So we're, we're building all the time, but we need to improve all the time. That's that's the nature of the beast, you know what I mean? So we live and learn and look, you learn and learn by mistakes and life. I, I think so. I, the, the one thing I do notice, and, and, and I get it back regularly from people, including people who have been critical of the place, or certainly as it, as it was on the old track, the, the feel-good factor is something you can't really see on a TV screen. You can't really experience unless you are at the track. But there is absolutely a feel-good factor about the place, isn't there? There's a real buzz. Right. It's, stag it's staggering. We've been here for like last six weeks doing a derby, and you know, especially the derby. Look, people's actually smiling now. They're enjoying it. They're talking about next year. They're talking about buying new dogs, and and they're coming here and, and having a good crack here. And that's what it's that's what it's all about. For at the end of the day, we're a sport, and like as owners, we need to enjoy the sport. Trainers need to have you know, have a future for them to turn money and pay their staff and increase what they do in life. So it's, it benefits everybody and breeders. You know, if, if we do successful divers in this country, the breeding levels can only go up in Ireland after the decline we've, we've been seeing over the last couple of years. But if you don't have a successful derby in England, the breeding will be just gone. And it'll be worrying for the sport going forward over the next two or three years. So it's important to get our ground derby bang on in this country. And that is critical for me. Very much. So I want to ask you about the derby, but the, the final. But first of all, I've got to ask you about the time when you're going to be sweating, which is uh, a little bit before then, uh, with the Durando Marathon. Oh, I think I look. <laughs> it's, it's so look, Mitch bless him. I mean, to, to sponsor that, he, he's 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 a fantastic owner for the sport. The Arms of World Boys again, they're all they're all great knives and everybody else. It's it's look, she's a quality. Rich. I am the all, you know. The Queen of Marathon Racing, we managed to beat her twice. And she's beat us three times. Hopefully, we'll go three all. Uh, but look, they're two fantastic pitches. And I'm sure it'll be a great, great race tomorrow. I'll just hope both of them get a clean one and then it's game on. And it'll be so exciting for, you know, a very busy crowd here. So I can't wait. But no, well, I want to thank, you know, Mitch again. And again, it's unfortunate. Originally, Durando was a shorter trip. And it wasn't for the incident we had last week, we was going to put them new boxes in, but we had to do the uh, new pipe work for the new magic uh, system. So, but no, I can't wait for it. And to, uh, I tried having a winner a couple of years ago at Knotts with Savannah Winner at uh, Nottingham, and that went wrong. So, hopefully, we'll, we'll get it right this time. But look, it'd be a great race, and good luck to all the dogs in the job, And the final itself, what do you fancy? <sighs> you would say on last week's form over the semi finals, trap three. But for me, I think I'm going to be nosy and I'll actually, I'll actually bet the one dog and the six. Do you know what I mean? I, I think they're both nice prices. Uh, I think Patrick's dog's been sensational since he's been at Toaster, to be fair. Uh, 
winning the, the maiden derby and he just flies around here and he's got a pink break in him uh we're rarely being in five he could have all the room in the world but as regards to one last week new inception he's a very fast dog he's he's never really he's never really ran well at toaster as such but he keeps qualifying last week he's got it right at one he's done a reasonable split he's done a good time so the two's the two's a champion dear jet sydney he's different class as well but it, it is a great final floyd and it's a final and clara lyon might be funny be people out there being nosy at 33 to one yeah so and even Barry McWild in five. You can name them all and you can bet them all. That's what we want, a competitive derby where every dog's got a chance, surely. That is the name of the game, what we're doing. It, it absolutely is. I mean, when, when you're looking at, say, Kilara Lyon, as he wants three three cat ones and he's going to be the outsider of the field. Uh, yeah. it, there's so much about the calibre of the six dogs in there, doesn't it? And um, Oh, it's, it's crazy. But it's, it's, it's a pleasure to watch. And, you know, I'll be very lucky that I've been here watching these fast dogs run around here because it's, it's, a, it's a great spectacle. And we have to appreciate these dogs. Yeah, I mean, certainly, I've known you long enough that if you weren't if you weren't there as a promoter, you'd you'd have been out, out on the terraces tomorrow anyway, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah, and it's and it's look, I, I can't what tomorrow can't come soon enough for me. You know, we've had a, a long week. There's been a lot of planning going on behind the scenes, but I enjoy all that. For me, it's you know, sometimes you get a bit stressed with it all, but no, I, I love all of that. I love being busy. The staff's reacting nicely to it. And, you know, it's it's good, and the place is looking amazing. How many people are you expecting tomorrow? We 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 what have we done it with with staff and trainers? We've you know be about three thousand people here. You might get a few more, but look, I'm delighted with that. Going back six weeks ago, we was looking at probably hardly anybody here for the derby, which would have been from a financial point of view a disaster to be fair. But we've had to do social distancing in all the boxes. That's been sold out for ages. The restaurant that's been sold out for ages, and also the marquee we've got to do social distancing. But look, Floyd. I'm happy we've got a good crowd in. I'm happy there'll be 3,000 people coming here, seeing Toaster, a lot of them for the first time in three years. And hopefully they'll go away with that good feel factor. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And that's that's the key to all this. So hopefully they'll enjoy what we're putting on throughout the, the day and the night. 